no. Three, two, one. Mm, that's cheesy. Three, two, one. Okay, no. Three, two, one. Uh, three, two, one. Oh, no, no. Three, two, one. Bing. Okay, too much. Three, two, one. No. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Siamese Sprints because we're going to, or in, oh, <laughs> okay. Let's not do this right now. Three, two, one. Excuse me. Three, two, one. I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong. <coughs> Three, two, one. Um. When you first get your dealt hand, arrange them in suit in chronological order, numerical order. I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Siamese Force because we're going to force hands by picking... Oh, it's backwards, okay. I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston. No, we're not doing the Charleston. Oh my goodness. Okay, three, two, one. I'm going to do an exercise. I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. Siamese Mahjong is when you play two hands at one time with one opponent. It's very popular now. Okay, that's an emerging style. I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Siamese Force because we're going to pre-select categories and force hands in just these categories. It's a great skill to build because you can not only learn the card and play categories that you might not normally not know. Um, three, two, one. <laughs>
over. Three, two, one. When you first get your adult hand, organize them in a way that's comfortable for you. I highly recommend that you put your jokers together, then your flowers, then your winds, dragons, and finally the numbered suits in numerical order. Then identify the strength of the hand. Keep the tiles that support the strength of the hand and begin discarding the discards. Three, two, one. If you ever want to play in a tournament, you've got to make quick decisions because you need to play in a like a 12 minute game. If you want to play online, many times there's a timer. Also, if you happen to take an inordinate amount, uh, uh, three, two, one. Another reason why, no, three, two, one. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch. Stopwap? No. Three, two, one. I have a smartphone here with a stopwatch app. We're going to do three sprints. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. We're going to alternate beep, 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 beep. Three, two, one. I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Force. The idea is that we are going to practice forcing hands by pre-selecting categories on the card and force hands. I already said that. I mean... There are three reasons why this exercise is great. Okay. Charleston Force is a great exercise for three reasons. First, many special events have prizes for the first hand won in a pre-selected category. So they, they don't do Charleston Force. Okay. <laughs> Charleston Force is a great exercise for three reasons. First, if you ever want to play in a special event, like a fundraiser or maybe a tournament, many times the hosts will pre-select categories from the card and the first hand won in that category. Well, the hand won't win a prize. The player wins a prize. Three, two, one. I'm going to do an extra, no, what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Three, two, one. Charleston Force is a great exercise for three reasons. First, if you ever want to play in a special event, like a fundraiser or maybe a tournament, the hosts will pre-select categories from the card and the player with the, f with the first, the player who wins, wins a hand in that category will win the prize. Okay. <clears throat> I'm, no, oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? Okay. Breathe. I've got a long way to go. Charleston Force is a great exercise for three reasons. First, first, for three reasons. Second reason. Third reason. Okay. Oh. Charleston Force is a great exercise for three reasons. Reason one re no. Oh, three, two, one. Finally, whether you want to push yourself out of your cat.
category zone. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Whether you want to push yourself out of your comfort zone or practice playing a hand for a prize. Three, two, one. Whether you want to push yourself to play outside of your comfort zone or maybe practice. Three, two, one. Whether you want to focus on forcing a hand. Three, two, one. Whether you want to push yourself out of your comfort zone and play categories that you might not normally think about, or if you want to practice forcing a hand to play, no, no, I don't like that. Okay, three, two, one. I don't think I like that either. Three, two, one. Is that it? Uh, oh, three, two, one. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player one will get 14 tiles. Players two, three, and four will get 13 each. Then, okay, how do I do this? Uh, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna deal the tiles now. Player one will get first, and then we'll look at everyone's hand. And we'll look at everybody's hand. Look at everybody's hand. Make a plan and start the game. Okay. Kidding me. Talk about continuity issues. Shoot. Okay, whatever. Do your best. Okay, so three, two, uh, one. If you want to be the fifth player and bet, pause the video and look at all the hands. Decide who you think has the best chance to win and write your guess in the comment section below. I can't find my better. Let's see. So I'm just going to use one of these. Oh my goodness. Oops. So I'll just pick one of these for who I think will win. If you play in person, you're going to have plenty of time. Hopefully, if you're playing with someone nice. <laughs> of course, you're going to play with someone nice. Three, two, one. 